Welcome to All This Math. This is Professor Parker, and we're back now and doing a video on the lattice method of multiplication. Now, some may be familiar with this, some may not be familiar with this. When I was a youngin' and I was in school coming up, I was never introduced to this method. It was actually a young brother at Del Val named Taj that actually showed me how to do this one day when he was in like the 11th grade and he was in my Algebra 2 class. And we were just talking about multiplication and it was something that they was doing when they was in elementary school um, that they had got put on to and he put me on to it and I was kind of hyped actually. So I'm doing this video to, this might be my second video that I've done on this, but I'm doing another video on the lattice method because I think it's a beneficial method of multiplication that, you know, your children should understand and that, you know, we can use. And it also helps us to develop our multiplication facts and our number fluency with multiplication. So. I got two examples up here on the board. 47 times 26 is the first one, and 56 times 41 is the second one, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create the diagram that's needed in order to implement the lattice method, all right? So first you draw a box, right? It's a basic box. It could be a square or something that is close to a square, right? And then you wanna section it off. You wanna create, create quadrants. All right, so this could be a little lesson. Like if you're doing this with your child, this could be like, you know, become an impromptu lesson on fractions because it's, it's like if I cut it in half, boom, now I got two fractions. I got a half and a half, right? And then if I go horizontal, like with that line, now I got, you know, that's another half and a half. And now I got four pieces, right? So each of those pieces is one fourth, right? So you just did a little impromptu lesson on fractions, right? And you could do that, do that with your child, right? So this is, this is the box, and now I'm going to draw, create the actual lattices, because the lattice actually is these diagonal lines, or these, this pattern of these diagonals. Boom. And you want to make sure your diagonals go from the corner to the opposite corner, but it's got to extend beyond the box. See how this one goes from all the way in the upper right, all the way down here to the corner and beyond. This one goes from in the upper right, all the way down to this corner and beyond. All right? So now. Next question is, what are you going to do with this 47 and this 26? What's going to kind of happen is this is going to resemble like a multiplication table, right? And you're going to kind of do the multiplication similar to how you would with a multiplication table. You are filling in a blank multiplication table template. So this, the multiplicand, right? If you want to be technical, this term is called a multiplicand or the first number that you use in a multiplication statement, right? You take the number from the tens place, you put it right there over this column. And then you take the number from the ones place, and you're gonna put it right there, over the second column. Now, this next number is called technically the multiplier. It's called the multiplier. The second number, you take the number from the tens place, which is two, you're gonna put it right there, line it up with the top row. And then you take the six, or the number in the ones place, you put it right here, you line it up with the bottom row. And I'm not filling this marker. So let me switch that. Let me grab this marker. This might be a little bit better. All right. So now, like I said, it's set up kind of like a multiplication table, right? So what I'm going to put in here is the product of 7 and 2. 7 times 2 is 14, right? So now, but I got two spaces in here, right? I got an up, a upper triangle and a lower triangle. So in the upper triangle, I'm going to put my number from the tens place of the product. So if that's 14, I'm going to take the 1 and I'm going to put it up here. And then I'm going to take the 4 and I'm going to put it right here. Now I'm going to do 7 times 6. 7 times 6 is 42. And another thing I like about this method is that all types of multiplication are an opportunity for you to practice your multiplication facts. But this method is like, not only are you practicing your multiplication facts, but it's kind of like a reminder that you're doing it because the lattice itself is set up when these, this grid is set up like a multiplication chart. So it's just that reminder, that constant like reinforcement that we are practicing our multiplication facts, which we need. Seven times six is 42. You put the four up here and the two down here. Tens place, ones place. Four times six is 24. You put the two up here and the four down here. Tens place, ones place. Four times two is eight. You put the eight right here and you might be wondering, well, what should go right there? You're going to put a zero right there. You put a zero right there because there's nothing in the tens place. So we're going to represent that with a zero. We put a zero right here. 
all right now we've done our multiplication now we're going to do our addition right but what are we going to add we're going to add we're going to calculate the sums of all the numbers in the diagonal rows so this is one this is two this is three this is four now a couple things i want you to be aware of always start from the bottom don't start adding from the top because that's going to mess you up if you need to carry or borrow always start adding from the bottom so this row then this row then this row then this row another thing i want to caution you about is you're not going to include the outside numbers or the original factors that you multiply so when i add the numbers in this row six is not part of that only the numbers that are inside the box only the numbers that are inside the box six is not included two is not included seven is not included four is not included all right so now i'm gonna do two plus nothing so then i write the sum outside of the box right there and then i'm gonna do four plus four is eight eight plus four is twelve i can carry right because i can't write the whole twelve i can only write one digit right there so i write the two right here and i carry the one where do i put it at the top right there all right so now then i'm doing my addition in this row one plus one is two two plus eight is ten ten plus two is twelve then you write the two right here carry the one one plus zero is one now how do i write my answer or how do i read my answer you read your answer like this you read your answer from the top down So this is going to be 1,222. So that means that the product of 47 times 26 is 1,222. Well, there you go. One thousand two hundred twenty-two. All right, let's do the same thing over here. All right, that was just to warm us up. All right. So now, 56 times 41. Let's do the same thing. Draw the box. Cut it in half. I got a half and a half, right? Again, impromptu fractions lesson, right? I got a half and I got a half. And then I go horizontal. Now I got four quarters. One, two, three, four. Four quarters. One, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. All right? Now I do my diagonal. Boom, boom, boom. All right? Now, where do I put this 56? I put the 5 over the first column. Then I'm going to put the 6 over top of the second column. Right? Where do I put the 41? I put the 4 next to the first row. I put the 1 next to the bottom row. All right? So I got 56 times 41. Everything's set up. Now, again, it's like a multiplication table grid. I'm going to do 6 times 4. 6 times 4 is 24. So I'm going to write my 2. I'm going to write my 4. 6 times 1 is 6. So I write the 6. And just like we did over here in the last example, when you have a single digit product, you put a 0 in the top triangle. 5 times 1. Same thing. Put the 5 right here. Put the 0 up here. 5 times 4, same thing. Well, not the same thing. It's a two-digit number. 20. 2 on top, 0 on the bottom. All right? So now we got all our numbers set up. We got all of our numbers where they need to be. Now it's time to do our addition. Remember, we only add the numbers that are inside the box, not the numbers that are outside. Only add the numbers that are inside in the diagonal rows. So we got 6, and then we got 4, plus 0 is 4. 4 plus 5 is 9. Then up here, we got 2 plus 0 plus 0 is 2. And then right here, we got 2 plus nothing, which is 2. And again, we read our answer from the top down. We read our answer from the top down. So we go like this. 2,296. And that's our answer. All right. So this is just an alternative to the traditional, you know, traditional multiplication, vertical multiplication algorithm that we should know, too. We should know how to do that, too. Like you should know how to, like, take this 
written horizontally, rewrite it, 47 times 26, boom, break that down, 6 times 7 is 42, write the 2, carry the 4, 6 times 4 is 24, 24 plus 4 is 28, right, then you go to the 2, right, 2 times 7 is 14, wait, make that a placeholder, 2 times 7 is 14, put the 4, cross that out, carry the 1, 2 times 4 is 8, add the 1, that's 9, right, then you do your addition, 2 plus nothing is 2, 8 plus 4 is 12, that's 2, carry a 1, and 9 plus 3 is 12, right? So we get 1,222, and we need to know multiple methods for doing things in mathematics, just like in life. You need to know multiple methods for doing things, right? But it's nice to have variation. It's nice to have options. It's nice to have choices. And it's also nice to be able to check our work, because if we say, okay, well, I did it this way, but I'm not sure if that's right. Well, let me, let me try to do the lattice method. Let me try to do the last method, see if I get the same answer. If you get the same answer, you know, it's a strong chance that you did it the right way, you know? So, hope this, I hope this was helpful. hope this was beneficial to you. Please subscribe to the page, like the video, share the video. Let somebody else see it. See if they might like it, you know? Somebody else might benefit from it. You know, share the wealth. Share the wealth, definitely. Black people, we got to share the wealth. All right? And always remember, as usual, that there's all this math all around you.